Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Eric here from LapFix. Got another video for you guys today. We got, we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, Windows 11 and some upcoming feature, I guess feature, that is, looks like it's going to be coming from uh, Windows 11. Um, so pro this video is probably more targeted for the people who are probably on older operating systems or have older computers. I know if you have that, um, or even like a desktop, like if you have an i7 7700K, you're right at that cutoff where usually the processor is, uh, is usually more towards 8th gen and higher. And uh, obviously there's some... Um, there's some 7th gen that to actually cross the threshold of meeting a minimum requirement or maybe your motherboard doesn't have uh, the TPM uh, 2.0 that's supposed to be required or for some reason you'll have 64 gigs of storage or a minimum of like 4 gigs of RAM. Um, there's a big spec I could actually, we'll just go over that in just a little bit there about talking about it, but maybe you just have an older system. Maybe it's an older desktop, maybe it's an older laptop, uh, maybe you're still on Windows 7 and you just want to upgrade and you just want to be like, hey man, I just let's just go all the way to Windows 11. Why not we just do that? Technically you can install uh, Windows 11, even though they have minimum specifications, you won't be getting um, any of the notifications through like the Windows update if you don't meet those system uh, requirements, but you can still like install it and technically upgrade to Windows 11 anyway. But if you're going to be doing that, <sighs> looks like you're going to be punished for that. So let's actually take a look at this. This is an interesting article I found, and I want to bring this up. Let's let me go to my screen capture. So we have this here. Oh, that's a system requirements, which is something in itself. So Microsoft testing desktop watermark for Windows 11 builds on unsupported hardware. Or even if you have a legit uh, version of Windows, let's look, take a look at this here. So show that their system requirements not met. I know this is this looks like it's on a like a dev build here, but this is looks like it's going to be testing and it's actually going to be going ahead and going forward with that. And it also shows in the system settings, system requirements not met. So it's going to give you that watermark always in the corner. Now, this isn't the same type of watermark that it shows like something like this. If you don't have activated windows, it's not going to be talking about activating windows. It's going to be talking about having um, a requirement that is not actually met yet. Now, this is a big problem because this isn't really going off of saying, hey, you actually just have a version of Windows. This is basically like a trial version and you should always um, you know, pay for Windows for that. That's not what we're talking about here and it's gonna warn you that there's activation of this watermark. Totally in the rights, I totally agree with that because they're giving you a free operating system there and you can't change a lot of things. There's some things you can't do as well. You can still use it, but they want you really to pay for it, which is fine because there's a watermark. This is for people who bought a legit copy of Windows and maybe didn't upgrade to the store. Maybe they just have an installer. They went to Microsoft.com, got a Windows installer. So we have on our channel, obviously, there is a, we made an installer of how to, to install basically Windows 11, like a clean install. You can use that method usually to install like on all our devices. And obviously if you pay for license, if you already had even like Windows 10 and you want to do an upgrade for something like this, but you don't have the support of hardware, we, te we typically don't like recommending that because of, of, of something that could be going on or maybe it's not supported, maybe you don't get driver support or something like, like this instance. We actually did mention it in one of the videos about, I think, making the bootable or something. We made one of those um, talking about something because we don't know. If it's not officially supported, we usually don't like recommending doing full upgrades for it because something could go on, right? Maybe you don't get drivers installed, maybe you don't get feature updates, or maybe you just won't install any type of security update whatsoever. So that's definitely a problem. But um, that's already being well known to something. But the thing is, if you're paying already for a license, you have a license for it and you want to go ahead and install it and it allows you to install it, it still gives a problem. Even when you did come up, you have a watermark on the corner there that it's not a pirated copy. It's not um, illegit copy. It's actually a legit copy that you paid for with a license that's going to put it in the corner there and actually give you a watermark. That's the same type of watermark that is for the unlegit copies that don't have activations, that, that don't have anything that's been paid for, is unheard of. I can't believe they would do something like that, especially if you're allowed to install it on uh, this type of devices. Really to put them in the same category as like, if I go back to this, you put this in the same category as activate windows, you're putting in the same corner there. Whoops, the website too. Yeah, you put it in the same corner and you're putting um, system requirements not met. It's gonna, just gonna stay there. And especially if you have maybe a nicer uh, television, if you have like an OLED TV, you're probably worried already about maybe possible burn in or if you have like a monitor, like that, if you have a more higher end monitor, I know it's like a weird thing, but it's, it's, it's something that can happen, right? You could probably have this nice monitor and you're gonna be having a watermark in a corner for a legit paid copy um, and you're still gonna have that there. 
It's unbelievable. I, I just can't believe it. It's, it's, I know it's not supported technically on older machines, but to have that a watermark there tell you, not just to tell it pop up, maybe when you turn on the computer that says, hey, man, system requirements aren't met, probably should upgrade or upgrade for TPM, or especially if it's a, what if it's a desktop, right? It's a modular part. That would be something else. But what if there's a bug that sticks? I don't know. So how's it even going to know? And what if, I don't know. It's really strange. What do you guys think? Just leave comments down below. How do you guys feel about this issue? I can't believe it. I really don't like it. And that's it. That's all I have to say. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.